glimpse as well that you don't even need to expose yourself. It's um, it's it's beautiful to watch. It's one of my favorite heroes to both play and watch, actually. And vanscore has been doing a great job so far, setting up two kills at five minutes, securing Silent an easy lane of farm here. And Tide, who was looking okay in the start, actually Hani's still level 5, he's been doing very well when you think about it. Oh. He died when he's level 5 and Mag's level 2 in the Radiant offlane. That's like unheard of. Yeah, it's, it's been rough for him, but they don't care while they're running an Enigma. But this Enigma's almost level 6, he's, he's having a great old time. I don't, I don't see a real problem as far as like Empire's income. I don't see a problem for Resolution, like, I'm wondering if Resolution's also considering finishing up the Treads. Okay, there's the damage. Okay, Resolution, Meld, Spirits are out. He needs help. Enigma can't help him though. Enigma's too low on life to come in here, and they've got Atos in one second. And he just tossed... Whoa, wait! Whoa, whoa, he tossed him away! And now Vanscore's gonna get a kill on Excalibur. They're glimpsing him back all the way down. Resolution's like, oh! I say thank you, sir! Oh, that's gotta hurt so much. Mistakes were made. That's gotta hurt so much. Actually, yeah, th that toss could never work. You can't toss an invis target. Yep. I think that's impossible. It, it, uh, of course, you need to have vision of it. He couldn't toss it to himself. He, he basically needed some unit around here because you can't toss on the spot. Yeah. And you, you, could, you had to get to something, and he was too far away. Dyer's that was really strange because Noto could have just stayed there. Yeah, if, if he stayed there and then, like, like, Tani walked back here and then tossed a creep back that direction. But that would have been so obvious to just walk away. But then again, Wispy did one attack because there was no refraction charges up at that point. Uh, that, that was really, really unfortunate and could have easily been avoided. If Middle nothing lane. else, they could have just got out. Now, yeah. Excalibur. And no tell, he can't relocate him out of this one. But he's going to overcharge as well, heal up over. And there's your black hole commitment. And Mag, well, he's got Clap available and just lets it drop. My TA will take the first blood here in the mid lane. One. And uh, my question about, I wonder if he's going to build Treads right now or fin and finish Magic Wand or build up Midas. Uh, might be answered pretty shortly because he's got a lot of money and could just pick up the Midas. Harney, you can't kill Vanskull. You get sent away by Glimpse. I think he's considering the Midas right now, which would be insanely fast with the lane he's had. Yeah. He's got 21 CS, seven and a half minutes in, but almost has the Midas because of his three kills. It's think, looking think, really, really good the, for a solution. The only thing that would make him question if he if he should have the minus or not is Trixie. Because we've still got Centaur with 1600 gold up here. The Radiant's Blink Dagger is not going to take long now. Attack. That may be his real undoing. Because if he goes straight in for the Midas and finds himself like without enough life points, without enough strength to survive the attack, he could be in a lot of trouble. But I suppose when, when you've got Refraction, you kind of feel like invincible anyway. That's not really the case, you can Radiant's feel that way. Top tower is under attack. Gen Rune just got scouted on the bottom lane, so he's got that to boot. Yeah, no man, it's, it's the true. The, the one thing that could be Resolution's downfall in this game is if he starts feeling too comfortable, because he is still a fragile hero, and Refraction can sometimes give you, give you a feeling of false safety that you just can't die. And I would almost say that in this game, he can, he can press it a lot more in this game than you could in other games, but still needs to be careful with the Spirits and Avalanche. But if those are used, if someone else gets initiated on, I think Resolution can just go really deep. He's Centaur ulting into- Whoa, Trixie! Man doesn't blink dagger, but Trixie, the tower attacks him, they're glimpsing him back up again. One beat in advance scores right on top of it. I think he almost got solo experience from that one, while Silent hunted down the Vengeful Spirit, and they deny the top tower. They triggered the Centaur ulti, in a range of the tower, and then all of a sudden fortification while Harney ravaging bottom lane, always on a fly, Malifus, but in comes Big Daddy to slap down the pup of always on a fly. It's one that they finally get themselves on the board, but it costs them a ravage. Two heroes and a, t and a denied tower. It looks like Empire is angry after that last game. Uh, they might get even more angry. Excalibur, avalanching silent. He's still got two one charges up his sleeve and the wall and disruptor ulti. Excalibur's taking some considerable damage from this as well as the oh, fly! Oh, what? Oh, he walked wow. into the storm! You don't walk into a storm! You ain't Meg Ryan! You can't battle the Twister! That was really close. I'm not sure about that Static Storm usage. I think he had Glimpse available. Maybe he thought he had mana for both, but he had to choose between Glimpsing and, and Storming, and maybe he thought he could get the kill and they could get out, but maybe the Glimpse is too risky there. If they try to Glimpse Tiny back, maybe he turns on them, or if he wants to Glimpse out Venge, Venge will at least get her stun off before she gets thrown back, so perhaps it was the right call to just see if you could sneak the kill and then get out there. And yeah, this this game looking so good for Empire already. 3,000 gold, 4,000 experience. The TA who was supposed to be countered mid has a 10 minute Midas. Boots, bottle, and stick. 
Man, it's a really sad day when I have Nahas actually correcting my, my movie trivia. I apologize, it was actually Helen Hunt. Yeah, I'm just laughing at movie references because I don't understand them, so I just assume you're right. Have, have you ever I have watched seen Twi very... You have, you have seen Twister, right? No, I have seen very few films compared to other people my age, I guess. Matt, how are you going to know so many what film references people make, and I just don't understand that many of them. I don't watch that many films. I like watching films, I just don't do it that often. Dude, you need to be around from the days when sand was economy. Oh, yeah! Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go on. Too young, Sind. Too yeah. freaking young. Either that or Denmark just isolates the youth. Yeah, it's the country. Yeah, It's obviously. not the person. Dyer's blame the, blame, blame the game, not the player, right? <laughs> well, as long as you can quote the five members of E-Home back from, like, uh, from 2008, that's okay. Ooh. No, I can quote 2010, maybe. That was the big E-Home team. See, you got that one wrong. I don't even think E-Home was around in 2008, were they? Pretty sure uh, maybe they, they were. were. That was really early. That was like the, they were called something with seven at some point or something. Oh well, that's a long time ago. We can have our history lesson for this one later. Uh, top lane, Trixie's getting in position. He has his blink dagger now. Mm. The, the only major yeah. problem go is, for for it. is the fact that Fanscore has ulti Marvel and it's Black Gold too. If it goes on Fanscore, we look at coming in. Malice is already. Harney lets his rip, but the disruptor ultimate has caused massive problems. Fly couldn't throw out his stun. Now we've actually had a range, but he's going to go down the Viper while the Brewmaster got his split off. So it's Galabar. There's your Black Hole. And he actually relocates one out, but Trixie unfortunately has to hang around for the party. Anchor smash from Harney. I think he thought maybe it might be enough damage to kill off the Enigma. But now he'll lose his life and a double kill comes in for resolution. Trigger that hand of Midas and bathe in money, Mr. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Oh, I got that reference. It would have actually been a full team wipe if they didn't get out again with Io and Tiny, so. It's gonna be cartoons for Cinderin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually just a little kid. There's a blink dagger for Mang. Gonna pick this one up now, head back to base. But overall, what was that? That was a three for one fight for Empire. They also got the tier one top tower, I think. No, wait, that was, yeah, they got the tier one top tower. Yep. And yeah, without that relocate out, that's just an absolute disaster for Fnatic. That static storm, like you said, from Vanscore was huge. Perfect. It created so much space in that fight, allowed Enigma to survive the initial burst, allowed him to get the black hole off in the end, and yeah, just perfect placement from Vanscore. And it shows those ultimates, it's not only about dealing the damage and about silencing, but it's kind of, in a sense, similar to Enigma's black hole, where you make a zone that you just can't stand in. <laughs> Man, it, it was it was, it really was perfect. Like you actually look back up to the top lane. So the static storm basically took it here. You had VS caught on one side of the field, which he was actually inside the box, but had to walk out that direction. And then you had one, two, three, which all had to move themselves around into the tree line before they could start to fight. They actually bought like two seconds at the start of the engagement, and then it also split the Fnatic lineup. So they they actually had to remove their stuns. Or well, at least their only remaining son after the tide used his ravage. Oh, honey. Uh, he's okay. He, he's stuck on top right, of the tower and Empire Snow Creek wave. So they're, they're not diving into that for him, man. They're gonna get this tower for free, though. I don't think Fnatic wants to try to fight without ravage. Even though they have relocate and Tiny does have his drum, I. He, he's not strong enough to take these kind of fights yet. I think this is gonna be a they, freebie they here. Could, they could delay it long enough. Okay, maybe not when resolution comes in. Because they have fortification. No, they're gonna Damn, get to a trade. Meld worked on towers. <laughs> Broken! That'd be pretty good. It's like the new pushing hero, man. That would make like Templar Assassin the pick of like mid. It'd be like, because DK was always oh, like, yeah, there's a lot of TPs coming Glimps. in. And Glimps is dragging Excalibur back. Malibus got a follow up. And Vine for Strike will also go. Now, Wisp relocate. It's <laughs> tossing resolution back. And Wisp, well, he's up on top lane with Excalibur. Center all he's gonna trick here. Where are you going? It's Hardy for the Ravage. Tricks the edge, himself a double hoop stop. With the double edge, and Excalibur and Big Daddy, they come back to a, well, already dead lane, and then toss up, they're looking for Sun, who's trying to battle up against Fly, but he will not succeed with this one. Fnatic just took a three, oh, split! <laughs> she managed to trigger it there, but now the Brewmaster split will go. Let's see how much she can mop up right now. He's the cleaning lady, looking to dust up Fnatic, but now oh, he's down oh, only one ruling, he's down! Yeah. He actually managed to kill off the Brewmaster. He's down for the count. That was perfect from Trixie there. Great decision. I think what I was thinking there, and I imagine that's what Empire were thinking as well. Okay, guys, we managed to force them to relocate out. We're in a pretty good position in the mid lane. We have vision. 
they're gonna come back with IO only and we're gonna get a free kill. And then Trixie, before the relocate, comes back. He sees that two heroes are stacking. He gets the perfect double, double stun, double double edge. Sounds like a burger. And then Tide went in and got the double ravage as well. And very, very easy fight here for Fnatic with that opener. And Trixie just making very much out of that situation after after they bailed out the tiny. Very nicely done here. And a little bit of a swing down, still a pretty big lead for Empire, but it's definitely manageable. You know IO Tiny can come back. I, I would like to submit a challenge to the community. Or to Valve, please, at one of like, the dinner parties we have at TI4, please actually create the double double edge burger. Mm. It actually sounds bad, it's like fallen. really sharp and stuff. Really? I, for, for me, it makes it think like it's one of those things that gets like, a, you know, like, you have like those, those little, little mini burger things you get. A double Radiant's double edge burger, so it's like it, it blends attack. two burgers together. So it's got like four edges? Yeah. It's like a square burger. Like a... No, that, that's, that just seems too plain, man. Like, someone's gonna come up with a better idea for a double double edge burger. We're just seeing a tower Radiant's trade right here? Yeah, T1 for tier 2. So T1 on the bottom lane goes the way of uh, just the dire side, even though Escalibur's there. But this mid tier 1 tower is dead. And with the resolution with the blink dagger, no one wants to come anywhere near him. Also known as to his amount of money, he's got, for 16 minutes in, he's got minus blink dagger, for 1600 gold after finishing strength treads. It could be a very quick BKB coming out from resolution. Or what would be scarier, a desolator. I think BKB is the best choice. He's going to get that as well. It's because. As we talked about with the amount of damage sources that Fnatic has, they don't have fast physical damage. They've got um, Avalanche, which deals four instances of damage, and then they've got the Spirits from Io, which is five, but those don't hit BKB. So if he's in BKB, they, they, he can't die. There's like no way. Tiny has abysmal attack speed still. Three levels in overcharge is not going to be enough for Excalibur to do that when he starts getting girl level two. Does Fnatic really have enough power to do this? If they don't get spotted out, Looks it's, like they won't. Empire has no idea. It's how many life points though they have to like... They're, they're tanking up a lot to make this work. Well, like, I was pretty good at that. True, but when everyone's missing from the lanes, it's gonna flag something. Okay, I think okay, Empire no, realizing it now is too late. Yeah, everyone's missing. Very nice shot. sneak here. And that's Blink for Tide. Mm -hmm. It's an Aegis going on the Tiny. So now he can play it really aggressively in the front lines, and they won't have to relocate him out with, uh, with... So maybe they can make a couple of plays here. Still need to be really careful with how they fight into the TA, and both TA and Enigma BKBs are coming up in the next five minutes. Enigma is only the recipe away, and so is TA in 50 gold. It's going to be hard for Fnatic still, I think. They've, they've been doing a really admirable job over the last five minutes, but it's still a high... It's a really big mountain to climb right now. It's, it's getting a bigger right now. Empire's moving up to the top lane. Resolution is now a recipe away from having his BKB. And, well, there's no warning to actually see Excalibur. They'll move up, and now they'll see him. Mag, Blink, and Resolution along with him. The Avalanche will go, but there goes your Agassi model. TA Trap prepares, and Brumar, look, it goes straight and split, realizing Harney was going to come in here. Disruptor rolling, VS swaps Excalibur out of this one. Resolution still the name with Melon hit. Where's it coming, man? Flies away to safety. The Wiz cuts it up and towards the air, and they're focusing on Excalibur. Black Hole committed to kill up the Tiny. They just wanted some advantage from this fight, and they managed to pick it up. That's always going to fly level of commitment. I love how they used five ultimates, and they killed one hero. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everyone fair. else got bailed out by the Stampede from Trixie there. That would have been two or three kills at least without Stampede, so... They minimized their losses, but still, that was an Aegis being used, so it was technically two kills, but only on one hero. Big ultimates were used by Fnatic as well. Ravage was used and no one died on Empire, so they're gonna siege high ground here. Yeah. This is a bold play, but I think they can actually go for it. I, I don't think really they're looking to hit anything here, man. Like, even with Ravage down, the other abilities down, they have nothing, and they don't yeah. want to risk anything. Like you've almost got okay. You can have three BKBs arriving within the next two minutes. Oh, Check. is Viper getting? Yeah, Viper's close too. You're but, right. Viper actually skipped going his Agadim scepter to just pick up the BKB. Resolution. It's a really good choice. 400 gold before he has it, and Enigma yeah, is already on his way. He's got Mithril time. Hammer in the Ogre Club, and it's sitting at 1,000 gold. So in in two minutes' time, you're gonna have triple BKB. Tidehunter then will be a very very sad watermelon. 
I think it's likely that Empire can end the game in that three BKB push. Fnatic don't have what it takes to deal with that yet. They need to bait out the BKBs or get a fantastic initiation before they come off. And then they need to buy enough time for the BKBs to expire so that they can actually fight. If they try to take a good team fight, even if they hit all their spells, if the BKBs are used remotely well, I still think they're going to lose the fight, but they might get mag first. Easy kill. Man, they were dead before that relocate even arrived. And then maybe, and uh, he's gonna get out. He's also got Illusion Rune to back him up, and he already spent his money too. They're actually turning for this one. This relocate is down. They don't have Tide Ravage. It's still on cooldown for 30 more seconds. And Silent, he needs some movement speed. Okay, he's found Fly. May, may as well throw the ulti out anyway. This fly's coming all the way back. Into a wall. Knew he was dead. <laughs> but Excalibur as well as uh, No Tail, they're again pushing up this bottom lane. Avalanche tossed through the creep wave means this tower actually will take no damage because there's a catapult there. It's going to keep that creep wave at bay for a very long time. And Resolution has managed to pull the reverse James Bond. 7 double O. Really? We thought... It's still better than your jokes, come on. Like, <laughs> we, we were looking at early game that TA, this was going to be a good TA game, and we're seeing it right here. He gets off to a good start, he is commanding this game right now. Man, you probably didn't even know I took it. I took it to Scotty Pilgrim during this game. Uh, Resolution's in trouble on the bottom lane. Maybe he will actually get done. License to kill for Trixie going on Resolution. They've got him down already. Honey, he's backing up. He's actually got Ravage available. Disruption Ultimate will come out right now. It's over on Trixie. He needs to get out of here. Unfortunately, he's got the Earth ticking out of him. Centaur Aldi will not save him from this because the glimpse, it drags him back down again. No tell. He's trying desperately to save him. Relocate's coming off cooldown now. Maybe he can pull him out. He kind of has to, but Mag runs over the top of him, slaps down with, and now they move into Excalibur. Sun triggers the BKB. Honey doesn't want a bar of this. Tiny is gone. A triple kill for the Brew Master from Team Empire, and Hani is running away with his tail between his legs. But that, that was still worth it for, uh, I don't know, was that worth it for Fnatic? They got a two for three, but they ended a seven kill streak. Who got the gold for TA? I actually can't see that in the history anymore, uh, so I'm not sure who killed him. Yeah, I don't know either. But that's a lot of gold going to that hero. So just looking over the gold of the heroes, I'm assuming it was Tiny. He just finished his eggs and still has 1300. So it was him or Tide. And Tiny's going to start reaching the point when he can fight. It's not there just yet. They still need a bit of time, but they bought time with that initiation. Honey. But, oh, honey. <laughs> good blink. Double tap. Really good blink. Tier 2 bottom might be at risk. No, actually, Empire, Dyer's don't try to commit here. It might they're, also be the right call. They're still missing their money, man. Like, you know, I was talking like the BKBs coming up, which is obviously great. But Sarn needs to walk, work into this Aghanim Scepter again. Uh, he's now like 1400 away. Mag is only f like 600 gold away or so from having his own Aghanim Scepter. They'll want to fight when this is up. Even Disruptor, Point Booster, didn't even buy Arcane Boots, which I think is very selfish of you, Van Um He'll be there for the fight now and uh, wanting to have the Aghanim's upgrade. Because once he's got that, he knows he can control anyone if they get a BKB. Then again, is anyone e even in this game going to get a BKB? Centaur's building Pipe, who he can buy it now, but we'll have to sacrifice his buyback. Ty Tiny is the Tiny's only one, but he needs to get like Yasha or Hyperstone before he can consider this. Yeah. BKB isn't that good against Empire's lineup anyway. They have so much physical damage. It's good to get the control against the, uh, against the Brewmaster and the Disruptor, but TA does high physical damage, so does Viper. Caught the wall. TP's on the way in right now. Always going to fly into some hole. And uh, they're going to lose the tower here and Wisp relocate. Ends up dragging Escalibur to the top lane. He can actually force out the tier 2 tower. And look, Empire's not quite sure. It's like, do we defend the tier 2 tower, or do we wait for the Wisp to actually drag him back? Now, Wisp comes back and Silent waits from this. No creep wave to actually drag no tell away from this one. So we will die here in the mid lane, while Resolution, he's hunting Fly. Blinks up, but he got stunned up. Viet's got the sun. Wolf stomp, Avalanche, what? as well as Anchor. Resolution just gives his life over willingly. While Mag, he's about to blink up. Two seconds, one second. Blinks up, a Ravage, it goes on Van score. They get rid of the disruptor around. Mag is in no man's land. Enigma will come in. Midnight Pulse again. They're tossing heroes around. But it's the BK beat up here. His Brewmaster goes for the split. He needs to stun and send up. Trixie flies. Someone can't get either. They're all out while up in the trees. Honey is waiting. He doesn't have mana to TP out. But Empire have no way to see him without Midnight Pulse in the, the tree line. And that engage cooldown. from Resolution was actually going to turn out pretty well if he used his BKB. He he saw all the four heroes before he went on the bench. He knew they were there. 
and he wanted to be cocky with his BKB, I guess, and use it in the last minute, dodging a projectile or something, but that that was just bound to fail, <laughs> not using the BKB there. He got to pay for it immediately. So, it does turn out a uh, 1 for 2, I think. They, no, they, it was a 2 for 2 all in all. I No, 2 for 1. Io didn't die there, so... Gonna be uh, happy with no, that. And... Io died in the mid lane. Yeah, but that was before that. I don't count that as part of that fight, I guess. That was a different instance. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, regardless, Fnatic, I think, are gonna be happy with that. There's still 10,000 gold behind, but... It's stalling out. That's the most important thing. When you're far, when you're far behind, the way most games end is that one team just keeps gaining. But it's not happening right now. Top Fnatic lane. are finding good kills. Mag this time. I heard Centaur ulti and I was watching the top lane. I'm like, where the hell are they going? Because everyone else is on the bottom lane. You kind of forget, like, Mag is like this straggling sheep up on the top lane. But they're waiting. Midnight Pulse, Disruptor, and no tell. It's like, oh, the attack. Oh, they blooms oh. way. What the hell? <laughs> Disruptive Thunderstrike killed him after the glimpse sent him back towards the top lane. Oh, really? That's actually what ended up happening. The Thunderstrike yeah, right. was on him. <laughs> That's hilarious. But he had to go for the glimpse there, else it would have been too late. That was his last chance of being in range, so. But still got the kill. And a fairly. Am I. <clears throat> Am I being a little biased towards Fnatic if I'm saying this is a, an even game right now? They're 8,000 gold behind, but it just doesn't feel that way. I, I don't think you are, just based on the fact that Tiny combo is over on Fnatic. So no matter what happens here, we still have to want to understand and respect the fact that a Wiss Tiny can easily just destroy offlane towers by themselves. And if you get a good crit cleave, like he's already got a Chrysalis, didn't actually buy a Yasha or a Hyperstone, not looking anything like the Assault Kuras. We're going for basically one swing, one win. And that kind of stuff can just turn a fight straight away. If he can also die as fast though, he's oh, got 8 true. armor. That is true. But he has a DD rune inside the bottle, so right now the one swing, one win, I'm going to back a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is pretty likely to happen. It's, if he gets the Daedalus before the DD rune gets used, then... Definitely. I don't think he will have it in time for that, though, but... The the concern you still got to have for Fnatic, though, is that they have one BKB counter, and that's Vengeful Swap. There's nothing else. Tricksy. And with, if the BKB is going to be correctly... Mags in! Wolf's not going to win, though! And now the Glimpse going to drag back Trixie. The Brulings have split themselves around, and BKB from Resolution, because the Black Hole, it caught out Wisp as well as Excalibur. They relocated into the river, there and into was. the middle of Team Empire. And now Fly is going to get completely mowed by Resolution. Double kill for the Templar Assassin. A full Chrysalis now gets completed up from him. And this will also be a critical timing because Roshan is going to go down. They double buyback and the TPing out. Fnatic want to find this one. Empire may just be happy with the trade off. They may be happy with the fact they got a double buyback and now they're coming out to fight. Trixie, already the first one. Tani ravages from inside the pit. The Thans be able to protect him. Trixie, the buff up was coming from the Wisp, but now he's just trying to TP out. Mistakes, he wants to correct them. He got away to safety. But he still lost his teammates. Wisp is still on the sidelines. So is the BS. And Excalibur in the middle lane. We have a death buyback right now. 23 to 13. The question is from Empire with Ravage down. Do they quickly take Rush out and breach high ground? Or are they just happy to go back and farm up? They wait for their ultimates, and then they go and actually end the game. There's no reason to throw away this Aegis on a gambled fight, where sure they know Ravage is down, but that's the only thing that's going to be down for Fnatic. Empire, on the other hand, are lacking the Brewmaster Ultimate as well as Black Hole and Static Storm, only for another 10 seconds, so that one would be ready. But two crucial ultimates are in cooldown, and Enigma is also dead. He won't make it there on time. So Empire can't base each right now, but they're going to be very happy with the trade they got regardless here. Pretty big, absolutely huge for them. They also forced the buyback, and Fnatic still lost the fight. They died like four or five heroes for two kills and a lost Roche. Actually, check out the experience so, difference too, just to yeah, see how much they lost. That's and, absolutely insane. Now, yeah. and and like you think about the, all the items that can follow up off that. Like you've already got the BKBs, which I know are getting massively triggered. Like, what's Silas she down to on that one? Seven seconds. So that's still okay for him, but. Disruptor is really close. Like, where, where is it? Like, okay, he's he's 1,500 gold away from having his Aghanims. I know it's not a critical thing, but these items are starting to arrive. Like, Brewmaster Aghanims with Blink Dagger, Blink Mech BKB, and 1,200 gold over on the Enigma. Please finish Treads uh, as he blinks away from Trixie. Um, I think where, he's going to do his travel. Wait, where'd the Wisp Relocate go to? <laughs> oh, he came in by himself after he realized Trixie failed the gank. He may as well stay connected to Trixie, because Trixie has to leave this top lane right now. Yeah. 
And that that one fight, I'm happy that that this happened because that was what I was expecting could be happening. The uh, the black hole on the relocate, it happened right there, and it was Fly beautifully dead. played by Always Want to Fly. Ultimate out from Silent. Okay, Auckland. maybe he's not dead. Uh, Got him. Yep. Came back and Brew Master steals the kill. That was pretty close, but Manscore made it on time. You almost but actually think this about, is... like, what actually, because Empire used to be a team that played Blink Dagger on the, on the Disruptor, just for that exact reason, so we can get there in time for the glimpses. I think it was also the most popular build in the TI4 qualifiers, at least the American one. Uh, one of the players on Sneaky Nicks Assassins, I think it was, Whitebeard, was picking up, like, every game as first item, and he was just ganking constantly. Yeah. It's a really cool item on Disruptor, actually, but... Uh, I also like not getting it. Uh, getting something else for Vansquare here, I think, was a better choice. Mag. More tankability to earn, etc. They call that Harney. Harney's got no mana. He can't TP. Centaur ulti. Welcome back to the fun house. Harney is locked here. He just accepts the fact. He is dead. Resolution came in to help out as well. Is that a full dead? It's a full deadless coming out for Resolution. And Mag's also got Plate Mount to add to this Brewmaster. And they only used Static Storm. This is probably Rax. I don't see how Fnatic can fight into this. They can get a really good initiation. Yeah, as long as Always Wanna Fly doesn't get caught, you know what's gonna happen. He will BKB Blink Black Hole or just BKB Black Hole because they have to commit with the Tiny. Mm -hmm. And he will be exposed and it's gonna be an easy pick off. So the Enigma pick against Wisp uh, or IO Tiny in this game has been really useful. And when I was saying it before the game started, I was like, this is a thing that could happen, but it really did happen. Oh, oh Trixie. Trixie. Uh, uh, that glimpse was uh, too early. Okay. The glimpse was just a little bit too early after he blinked it and just basically whooped the hoof stomp. It's going to be now the tier 3 tower going down, and Resolution with a Daedalus in hand as well as an Aegis Demon backing him up. He's got three minutes on this Aegis too, so if they destroy everything they got at him, it's not going to be enough, and they jump into Resolution. Ah, uh, yeah. Caliber. Yep, pulling it back. And the wall's They're up. Gonna have to re -look at him wall out. stop. Really nice though from Trixie. Catching it too. Did the double edge as well, but now Melt Strike. Trixie is dead. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Again on the way out. And that's gonna be the mid mid rack going down. He's got back here for silence. Like he's gonna Oh, there's your hole. There's your hole. No talent to just swap out. Actually, she stopped the Enigma Black Hole, but the damage was already done. He got two seconds off in the duration, which meant there was enough time for the rest of Empire just to stand there, steal, and deliver. And that is just everyone dead apart from Harney. He's got Ravage, but no one to follow it up. The mid racks will go, and they'll probably just rotate top. We're going to get a close game. Hey. Had so far have been really one-sided. Empire yeah. has just been completely running away with this one, just like they did in game one. And I hope for game four that we get a little more of a close game. And again, this I, don't know, I said in the first game that Empire might have just had a better draft and really locked down the tinker. And second game, I said Fnatic outplayed Empire. I feel like this is the third scenario where Empire just outplays Fnatic. I don't think they've got significantly better draft, but they just made so good use of disruptor. Uh, they got a lot out of Templar Assassin in the mid lane in the beginning, and. Viper had free farm and did a lot. Brewmaster, I think Mac plays a really solid Brewmaster. Pretty much everyone on Empire in this game, all, all of them did a very good job. Landed the spells they needed to land, did the, made the right decisions on when to go in, and not really many mistakes to find here. Mm -hmm. So, very nicely done by Empire. They're now up 2-1.